In this video, we'll be learning how to set up a Doku Wiki instance on our Unraid server. This video assumes that you've already set up your Unraid server, initialized your disk array, and have set up some shares. The first thing that we're going to want to do is go to our plugins tab. Make sure that you have the community applications plugin installed. If you don't, it's easy. There's other videos out there telling you how to do that. Once you have that installed, you're going to want to come over to the apps tab. And once it's refreshed, search for Goku Wiki. Click the install button. And we get our add container page. Leave the first two the same. Change your network type to custom. It's maybe slightly different on your machine. And we need a fixed IP address on our network for this instance. So we need to go to our router settings and take a look at what's available. This is my router front page. Under uh, DHCP server, and start IP address. You'll see uh, 103 is the first IP address on my local network that is being assigned to new devices that connect. We're going to want to issue DokuWiki an IP address that is not in that range because it can be given out to other devices. So for mine, I'm going to use 192.168.1.99. I've not assigned this to any other uh, device or Docker instance uh, on the network. We can leave everything else as default. We will need to change where the app data is stored. By default, it's stored under our app data share. If we go to our dashboard, and actually our shares tab, you can see the app data is not something that is backed up. So what we need to do, if we want our wiki to be backed up in the case of catastrophic failure of our uh, Unraid server, we want to change this to a location that is being backed up on our RAID array, or just our disk array. So I already have a location picked out under data. Data, my name, wiki. So where this lives is under user data wiki. You can create a new share. Uh, let's say you create a share called wiki. Um, in that case, you would just use wiki. That's where the share lives. But for mine, this is where the wiki is going to live. And I can hit apply. It will need to pull the image down from the repository and install and then boot the Doku wiki server. This may take some time. If your page looks something like this, you've done everything correctly. You'll want to specifically look for the command finish successfully prompt. And as you can see, the Doku Wiki Docker has set up its file structure in the place where we told it to live. We can access the Doku Wiki instance on our network at that fixed IP address that we assigned to it. Specifically, if this is a new instance, we'll need to go to this subpage. This will be responsible for setting up the Doku Wiki server. Fill all this out. 
um, I suggest a public wiki and the share alike license. I'm going to go ahead and fill this out and I'll be back in a second. If you've clicked save on the previous page, you should see this. You've done everything correctly. Click continue to your new Doku wiki. This is the welcome page for your Doku wiki. The page that will be displayed when you access the IP address that you assigned on the network will be the start page, which is accessible from the welcome page here. You will need to log in if you set it up to not be a public wiki. And now you're taken back to the start page and you see create this page. And now you can start editing and building your wiki. Now, if you're like me, you already had a Doku wiki instance on a flash drive that you're going to want to import into this Docker that you set up on your Unwrite server. What we'll need to do for that is open our terminal for our server. We're going to cd change directory to root and going to make sure that we're in root with a list command. Mount user is where your shares should live at the top level. Where I've set up my Doku wiki is in data, my name, wiki. And we can see the basic files there. Now, a problem with Doku wiki setup, if we use the uh, dash L tag, will show us our permissions. As you can see, uh, the right permissions are not enabled for all users of the share. This is unlike anything uh, else that you may transfer to the share over your network. Everyone has access to everything as long as they have access to the share. So if we wanna import data into these folders, we need to update this folders permissions so that we have access. Otherwise, we'll get a permission denied. And I will show you that right now. I have a Doku Wiki instance saved on my desktop as a Doku Wiki stick, which you might be using already. We will need to transfer in configuration, data, and library. We see when we do this, you get the uh, folder access denied error, and that's because we don't have permissions yet. So we need to come up to the folder just above where Wiki lives, and we need to issue the command chmod dash capital R A plus read write execute Wiki. This will recursively add permissions to read, write, and execute for all users to the wiki folder and all subfolders and files. Now that's done, we can go back into the wiki folder, user list command again, and we see that the permissions have been changed. We can exit out of the terminal now. and bring over those files that we needed. This may take some time depending on how big your wiki was. Now that those files have transferred over, we can access our Doku wiki instance over the network. And we can see that all of our files are here. This has been a tutorial on how to set up Doku Wiki as a Docker container on your Unraid server and access it over the network. Thanks for watching.